and welcome to a video review, um, opening video thingy, for some packs of Transformers Dark of the Moon Gacha Danglers. Uh, as you can see by the images here, these are sort of small, they're rather small, they're sort of packs of dangly chain Transformers, I'm assuming. Uh, in the form of the robot modes of the Transformers. You can obviously not transform them, I'd imagine. Uh, it's rather hard to see, but these are uh, related to the third Transformers movie, Dark of the Moon. There's Optimus Prime on the side, despite the fact that he's not actually in the lineup. Uh, not much on the back, really. Picked these up for rather cheap in uh, WH Smith, as they were having a um, clear up sale. So, well, there's no point talking really, let's just open them up and see what they're like. Uh, rather easy to open. Before we look at who we got, let's see if we get maybe a poster with their names on or something, because, okay, there's a few of them. Oh, actually, there's, there's not actually that many. Uh, right, well, there don't actually seem to be any names. And... I'm not going to lie, whilst I know the G1 Transformers fairly well, at least some of them, the movie Transformers I am not as familiar with, but there are eight of them. Uh, can't really say I recognise anyone, possibly that's just me though. Does Optimus Prime count as one of them? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, we have, first off, a very silvery plain guy. He's probably a Decepticon. Uh, it's kind of detailed for the size, to be fair. He's got guns and stuff. Can he stand up? Yes, he can. Wow. Okay then, that's impressive because I'm not going to use this as a keychain. Mainly because it's rather bulky. That's his head there. Uh, not sure who he is, he probably turns into a plane, because, well, that's the front of a plane. I'd love to say this is like, uh, no, Swoop is one of the Dinobots, isn't he? I'm not sure who this guy is. Anyway, he's he's pretty cool. Let's stand him up over there. A bit further back, maybe. Right, next one. Uh, I, I took the stickers off the first pack so I could show you what it is, but, uh, okay. Let's get the poster out of here. Second is this guy. They all seem to be silver. I'm assuming none of them actually are painted. I had him the wrong way around. I knew that. He's very cool. Wow. He probably turns into a tank of some kind. Uh, he's got guns on his arms. Is this Mega... No, this isn't Megatron, is it? No. That's definitely not Megatron. He is, however, armed to the fucking teeth. Look at that guy. Cannons on his arms, missile launchers on his shoulders. This is probably ammo of some kind. Can he stand? Yes, he can. Okay then, third and final uh, pack. It's got a short video, but you know. Some of my videos have lasted for almost an hour. So I think in comparison, this is a nice refreshing kind of quick one. And the final one, yay, I have no doublers. And this guy looks pretty fucking cool. Is that his face? I believe so. Uh, I guess, no, hang on. That's definitely not, this is his face, I'm sorry. Uh, cool, he has wings. He's my favourite, I'd say. He has a huge sword cannon thing here. His right arm on the other hand is not. Ooh, he, I like his feet as well, they're very claw-like. And he is again silver, um, like the other two. He is a treat. I'm rather fond. Oh, I was zoomed in rather a lot. Uh, that would explain why. But, these guys are pretty cool. Really tiny, but for one pound eighty, 
Not bad. Him, he's my favourite, I'd say. I don't recognise any of these, I'm not going to lie. If you can recognise them, then please let me know in the comments. So, you know, final recap. We have Jet Guy, not Starscream. We have Tank Guy, arm to the fucking teeth, Scream. And he fell. And this magnificent bastard with a back that has a face. He looks like a sad eagle. Why me? Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. I shall be doing a, another video soon. And in the meantime, maybe subscribe, possibly. That would be really cool, because, you know, why not? Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.